Roger, is being an entrepreneur something we're born with, or is it something that we learn over time? Behind the Brand features the people who are making things happen. Get the insight to grow your biz from experts who've done it. Get Behind the Brand. I have a, uh, I have a real uh, belief that every one of us can be an entrepreneur, but I think a large part of this is really just our definition of what it is to be an entrepreneur. So as an example, like, you know, a lot of people think an entrepreneur is someone who just knows how to start something new and take big risks. And so they might not even think of someone like Warren Buffett as entrepreneurial. They'll think of he's more like an investor. Um, so it's about definition. And my definition of entrepreneur really goes back to the roots because the word entrepreneur comes from the French word entrepreneur, which means to undertake or to go on a journey of promise, uh, like go on a quest. And, and that's where we get entrepreneur, which is enterprise, like USS Enterprise, like, you know, Star Trek, you know, boldly going where no man's gone before. And, and from that point of view, the moment someone says, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go on a journey, I'm going to go out there and do more than just simply kind of like take what life gives me, yeah. um, then I see that as being an entrepreneurial journey. And some people will do that, uh, like, a, uh, like a, a Jack Welsh or a Steve Ballmer, and they didn't ever start a business up. They worked with someone that actually started the business up. Uh, whether it's General Electric, whether it's Microsoft, they're still entrepreneurial because they're actually driving their own destiny. Right. And I really believe that every single person out there can be entrepreneurial. I don't think it's what's taught at schools, so I don't think that for most people they're even aware of that. But if someone says, you know what, I want to go out and actually start defining my destiny, there is an entrepreneurial spirit you need to actually do that. Which, and the way I would define that is the way that academics learn is that you need to know in order to do. The way that entrepreneurs learn is you need to do in order to know, which is, means it's all about actually saying, I'm going to get out there and I don't need to know all the answers, but I'm going to be learning as I'm going. And I'm going to get around other people in an environment where I have that kind of a mindset. Not being afraid to fail. Not being afraid to fail, but knowing the difference of failures that steer you and failures that sink you. Yeah. Because yeah, I think that's like going to the gym and knowing that failures that steer you is when you kind of like work out just beyond what you can do so that you stress the muscle, you let it fail, and then from there you get stronger as opposed to going in and lifting a weight which is way too heavy, doing an injury, and then you're out of the game. Yeah. And I think a lot of people jump into a business uh, and, and, they, and they start with a financial injury that, that is so painful that they then kind of like shy away from even moving forward.